Well, this is, uh, I want to show how I've been <clears throat> cutting these fire bricks. They are extremely hard, and I tried several different things. One of them was a jigsaw blade with a diamond, uh, a diamond blade on it, and it lasted for about two of these bricks. So at $10 or $11 a whack, uh, I've got a bunch of bricks to cut. Here's how I mark them. I've already marked this one, but I'll show you how I did it. Uh, I made a little deal here to hold it out from the thing. And then I just trace, try to hold that as level as possible. It doesn't have to be exact, okay? So now I've got the arc that I want to cut. So it'll fit around this thing. Now the reason I'm doing these with fire brick is well, because concrete brick doesn't withstand the heat too much, and it'll be kind of another layer of insulation. But also, uh, this is a, an inch high, and uh, it is going to raise the level of the barrel so that there's just a little gap here of about an inch and a half or so. and. Uh, I say inch high there, but it's it's going to be an inch and a half up here by the time I put a layer of sand on top of that to seal the bottom, and uh, and that'll give the the venturi effect of the the heat coming up there, and then it'll sweep down like this. So now let me show you how I ended up cutting these things, these bricks. And this is a very dusty uh, endeavor here, so... I could have bought a... a, uh, a diamond blade for my four and a half inch grinder, but... Uh, I'd already spent money on that other jigsaw thing, and that didn't work very well, so... These are just regular masonry bits. which normally they cut in a straight line, but here's how I cut it in a curve. After I plug it in. See, as I, the deeper I go, the wider the groove gets, and that's how it gets the clearance for doing. Now what I've done, I've gone down about halfway, and uh, it's not very straight. You can see my line there, but I'm going I'm to grind that all out. I just transferred my marks over here, and I made a little, a little jig here for, for cutting arcs. At, at the 16 inch diameter that I want. So I just set the uh, I set the point on this line that I've carried over from the other side and then over on this side that way I get my central part and then just scribe an arc here. So now I can do this cut this from the other side until it cuts all the way through and then I'll, I'll smooth it out and straighten it up a little bit.
let's take it over here and see if it fits. Now the next one I'm going to cut, I'll start here. I, no, actually I'll start here with my little pointed doohickey. This is really a makeshift way of marking this, but it's the only thing I had. And I want to keep that parallel. So what's going to happen is that's going to, that's going to not lap over. Oh, and the other thing I need to do is to mark this bottom side here and cut that straight on this brick and a straight cut is easy it's these curves that are hard see that's ready to cut it's going to be a sharp edge there I've already broken one like this 